Hello, and welcome to the guide on how to use the Oracle Enterprise Manager JIRA Service Management Ticketing Connector. In this guide, we're going to show you how to manually and automatically create JIRA tickets from Oracle Enterprise Manager incidents. As you can see, we've already installed and configured our JIRA Ticketing Connector. We're going to start with how to create a ticket manually. To do that, we're going to go to Enterprise, Monitoring, Incident Manager. The Incident Manager will show us all our open incidents in Oracle Enterprise Manager. Here we can see an example where our CPU utilization is 100%, which crossed both our warning threshold of 80%, as well as our critical threshold of 95%. When I click on it, we'll get a whole bunch of details about the incident, but specifically we want to look at this tracking. In tracking, we're going to click More, Create Ticket. This will automatically select our connector type, as well as the connector name that we've configured. We have a long list of template names that we can go through. In the JIRA ticketing connector, we have seven different templates. Each of these templates relates to a JIRA ticket type. We can see that we can create a bug, an incident, a problem, a service request, a story, a subtask, or a task. For this demo, let's use the JIRA incident create and update. We will then click OK to create the ticket. And there we go. We can see our ticket was created successfully. If we go back to our tracking, we see we actually get a link to the ticket in JIRA. Let's click that to take a look. Once we've opened the ticket in JIRA, we can see that we have the title of the ticket as the summary of the incident in Oracle Enterprise Manager. We also have a lot more details in the description, including things like the target type, the target name in Oracle Enterprise Manager, the owner in Oracle Enterprise Manager, and additional properties like the operating system and the target version. If we want to click back into Oracle Enterprise Manager, we have a link that we can go straight back from JIRA to look at it. We've also labeled all of our tickets with the Oracle Enterprise Manager label, so they're easy to sort in JIRA. Now, anytime a ticket's updated, we'll show additional information in the JIRA subtask. So let's clear out the ticket in Enterprise Manager and see what that looks like in JIRA. We'll pause here for a second. Okay, the incident should now be clear in Enterprise Manager. Let's take a look. We're going to refresh our Incident Manager page. And we can see the incident that we created the ticket for is no longer there. So let's see what that looks like in JIRA. We're going to refresh our ticket page here. And you can see that we added a new activity note that shows that the CPU utilization has dropped down to 8%, both below our warning and critical thresholds, which means our severity is now clear. We also give a timestamp of when this was updated. Now, obviously, every time you create a ticket, you're not going to want to manually create it in the Incident Manager. So how do you automatically create tickets when things arrive? To do that, we're going to go to Setup, Incidents, Incident Rules. We're gonna create a new rule set that we're gonna call our JIRA rule set. We're gonna apply it to all targets. And then we're going to create a new rule to create a ticket when an incident arrives. So we're gonna create for newly created incidents or updates to incidents. We're gonna select all new incidents and update incidents. And then under actions, we're gonna add a new action. And for that action, we're gonna select create ticket. And in this case, again, right now we'll create a JIRA incident. We'll click continue. We'll see that our new rule was added. We'll go to the next step. We'll call this the create JIRA ticket rule. And then we will review everything that we have done. 
Once that's complete, we'll hit continue. We'll see that our rule was added and we will click save. And now we can see our JIRA rule set. So now anytime an incident fires, it will automatically create a JIRA ticket of the type incident. If we ever want to disable this rule, we can simply select the rule set, go to actions and click disable. And that's it. You now know how to create a ticket manually as well as automatically. Thank you for watching.